Hi there. In this particular video, we are going to watch paint dry. Well, no, not really, but uh, quite close to that. Okay, so these are some speakers. I have four of them, which are quite dried up. The rubber surround, it's actually a rubberized surround. It has a cloth with rubber on it. It's quite dried up. I think this one is the softest of them and you can see I barely am able to push it in a tiny bit. The other ones are, are stuck fully. That one was, I think, the worst. Uh, I've tried to fix these things a few years ago with, I don't even remember, uh, petrol, I don't know, uh, glycerin, whatever, tried a bunch of things. I think petrol did the best for the moment, but then it dried right back up and it actually somehow started to crack. So, yeah, not good. So, I realized there are other possible variants. There is a product for uh, car seals, rubber cars, car seals, uh, even for, uh, for your tires. Uh, to keep them a bit softer, uh, there is a, a certain silicone, you can get it at uh, car parts uh, shops. And I got that and put it in this little bottle because uh, it has a eyedropper or something like that, I think it's called. So it's easier to, to fill this thing all around. Uh, and that seems to be doing really, really, really well. But this, this is still a long process. It will take probably a week for it to fully soften. And as you can see, it will start to impregnate in the, um, I don't know, the paper part of it. But weirdly enough, this silicone doesn't make the paper soft. So I don't think it actually interferes with the, the glue in the paper, which is perfect. So it will be just... Um, I don't know, a different look, but I don't really care. This will not actually be, be seen, but this is happening because I put a lot of it. You can simply put with a paintbrush really thin layers, one layer a day and continue doing that for a week, two weeks, something like that. Probably I put a lot of it. Uh, I was impatient. It will be not so good aesthetically, but these speakers are in uh, boxes that are closed so you cannot see them so i don't care about uh, the aesthetics at the moment but i really wanted to save these um, green surrounds for me this particular speaker model comes from from my childhood i played with them and they always had the green surround so without the green surround it's not the same thing even if i cannot see it i know it's there so yeah and i wasn't able to find green surrounds it's no, no way. Uh, I, I found some speakers with greens around in the same size. I bought four of them, so I have them in hand just in case even this method will fail in the end, but hopefully it won't. But those are speakers. I need to cut the surround from the speaker, then try to, to keep it in good shape and glue it to this one. And also it's foam. It's not uh, uh, rubberized cloth like these ones are. So it's not ideal. The best thing is to save this. Again, something else. Uh, as you can see, these have a, a, a concave shape uh, seen from the top. Yours will be probably different. So if you do this, most likely you will be, be doing it from the other side and put it uh, in the channel in there. And again, take your time. If you don't want to have a visible uh, I don't know, uh, silicone marks or something like that. And this will not remain white. When it starts to, to go in the rubber, it turns uh, transparent. So that is perfect for me. And yeah, I will work on this for a week, two weeks, how, uh, who knows how much. If it's perfect, then I will do the other three and obviously come back to you with a test and show you uh, what's happening exactly. Just in case it wasn't clear how, how hard this rubber is, this is about as much as I can push it 
you almost don't see it moving. And even then I'm actually pushing it more to the side than down. So this is really, really, really hard. Speakers are unusable. Okay, that's a strong magnet. Speakers are unusable uh, like this. Let's see this. I hope I can actually show you. Much, much more, more movement already. But yeah, need to continue. Mm, yeah. More than one week later, we are back to square one. This thing has dried up once again. You can see this is, is moist all around, but for nothing. It's almost impossible to push it with the finger from underneath, and if I insist, it cracks. And I did a lot of online searching, and honestly, there is no real way to soften this thing. I'm going to attempt one last uh, single variant uh, for the ones that actually have cloth on the back of it. So mine is not only rubber, it actually has cloth on the back of it. Uh, there is the option to simply remove the rubber from that cloth and coat it uh, with another layer of some kind of rubber or glue or whatever. I am going to attempt that because it's the last resort and if not, I'm going to do something that I don't like and put this thing on, which is, isn't even perfectly fitting because these are Romanian speakers and they actually have a weird diameter. Uh, but yeah, there's that, nothing that I can do, I will find a way to put it uh, in here. Anyway, let's try and let me just show you how, how dried up this thing is. This is a Russian speaker, about the same size, and I will press with about the same force. This is doing almost nothing. Yep. This is dried up. If you try to play music through it, it has zero bass and... <laughs> anyway, and this thing, this is only rubber and they are the same age. So, uh, the type of rubber and the quality of it mat matters a lot. And this also has uh, uh, cloth on the back of it, exactly as this one. And it hasn't dried up at all. Yeah, nothing more that I can do. I will put probably a bit of this thing on this, just to make sure it will never dry out. Just to make sure, probably. Anyway, let's let's get to it. First, I will try to dis dissolve this thing with nail polish uh, remover. Uh, this is the new type that it's not that good of a solvent. I will see if it actually affects anything. If not, I will try with paint solvent. And if it, that also doesn't work, I'm starting to reform this thing and that will be where this video actually goes. But I really want to save the, at least a bit of the green, but I don't know if it's possible. So I simply poured a little bit of this thing in the channel. For me it's simple because the channel is concave. If it's convex, yikes, it will be more difficult. You need to try with a brush or something. And I will let this thing stay here for a while and see. But I think from what I'm seeing here, yeah, it might actually be starting to, to, to dissolve this rubber, which is exactly what I want. I need to be able to scrape it off from the cloth underneath it. Yeah, this will be a time consuming process and I need to be really careful not to damage anything. I have the risk of it actually removing my glue, but if it does remove my glue, I will glue it back up. I have glue for this sort of thing, so that's not a problem, but I need to get rid of this. And obviously, I don't uh, want to push too much because I don't want to damage the cloth underneath. So this is going to be fun. Anyway, let's continue. And I seem to be making progress. In this area, let me try my put my finger from underneath. I directly have only cloth. No more rubber like in the rest of it where I barely can push it. This is really soft. Obviously, doing what I'm doing here creates a huge danger of damaging your speaker permanently. Uh, it will for sure change the speaker's parameters, but 
this is the last option for me to try and keep something green because it's extremely difficult to find green surrounds and I just love them. So yeah, this is my last, last option. If not, I'm, I'm reforming them and what I'm doing here doesn't affect anything and doesn't really matter in the end because even if this gets a bit wet, it will dry up. It doesn't care, it's paper. As long as uh, you do not get it wet to distort it or damage it in some way, doesn't matter. And if you are using something to scrape it like I'm using here, make sure that what you are using is not sharp, so it's uh, incapable of uh, actually cutting the cloth itself. And if your surrounds are only rubber, no cloth on the back of them or on the front, ay, ay, ay. Uh, this will not work for you and honestly your only option is to change them, replace them. It, yeah, it's kind of annoying but it is what it is. Okay, yeah my hands are kind, kind of shaky, sorry about that. This whole area is clean and it's really really soft now. Which is exactly what I want. And this as you can see it's a bit wet but that will dry up it is not affected in any way yes you could potentially create spots or stains or whatever this is not the perfect method but for me it's the last one to keep the the greens around decided to try something else this is 99 percent uh, alcohol and it's actually dissolving better than that thing so don't try uh, try with alcohol first. This is not a powerful solvent. Maybe you are lucky and it doesn't dissolve the the glue, but it will, it seems, dissolve rubber. That one also dissolves rubber, the nail polish remover, but slowly. So, yeah, don't go, don't go to paint thinner uh, too fast because that for sure will dissolve the glue also. And this is what we are left with. It's not perfect, but in projects like this, do not try to get perfect. You have way bigger chances of screwing it up when trying to do perfect. And this thing now, it's much, 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 much softer. It's at the same level as this thing compared to, to nothing, basically. And for the color, yeah. We still have a bit of green. This is uh, wet now, it will dry up. Uh, yeah, it might have a bit of green on it. On the cone I tried not to get green. This I can use a file just slightly on the surface uh, to make it lighter in color like this one. But yeah, this, no, there's <laughs> impossible to, to make a comparison. So I'm going to let this thing completely dry. There you can see all the rubber that I got out and uh, up until now this is a success but uh, we will see. And then I need to put a coat on this thing because it's, I think it's way too, too soft at this point. Probably it would work at lower powers like this but if you give it a bit more base or something might do funny stuff. So it needs a coat, a transparent one obviously. And this is the second day in the morning. I left it dry for about, I don't know, 16 hours, something like that maybe. Um, this thing is still soft as you can see. And this thing is still moving, which is exactly what we wanted. I filed down this edge so it's not that dirty anymore. But uh, yeah, for you probably it will be some kind of foam, so really hard to file down. Uh, when this thing dried up, I used a brush to make sure I don't have any residue on it and now I'm going to use let me just show you if I can actually get it this sort of thing from simplyspeakers.com I'm not even sure if they are in business I bought this lots of years ago so it's MI1291 foam guard sealer so uh, one coat I need to apply it to the cone edge using small brush. I want to do that because I don't, don't want this thing to become uh, brittle 
or dry up what's left of the rubber because for sure some some rubber is left in the cloth it's impossible to get it from between the fibers and i will do one coat on the top of it and one coat on the bottom of it so it's fully sealed and uh, it should always remain as compliant as it is now and this is exactly what i wanted so honestly it couldn't be better they are still green they are doing the job and they are not too soft i was afraid they will be extremely soft and the the speaker will travel much too easily no it's not it's a, as i remembered these speakers from my childhood because that is why i want to keep them green i had two of them one of them it was with a rubber in good shape the other one was dried up and the one that was in good shape was something really really nice so let's put that thing on the edge And I'm done. This thing will not remain white. When it dries up, it's transparent. And make sure uh, it's not wet enough to flow down. So I, I continue to, to rotate it until it got hard enough that it's staying in place. And uh, yeah, at this point, I only need to do the back of it. But after this dries, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm thinking there is a chance I will put it face down just in case it tries to, to flow in the middle. I want the middle actually to be maybe thinner a bit. Or if I'm thinking about it, I think on the, the edges it, it's a bigger chance of some uh, old rubber remaining. So maybe the middle should be a bit thicker. Yeah, I'm going to let it face up and dry like this. I'm not uh, rotating it anymore. Just to try and make sure it's level, at least as level as it can be, because this has a, a weird bump on the back of it, so it's hard to get it fully level. And let it dry. Ta da! This thing is moving nicely. The old one, not at all. This thing is doing exactly what it should do. It's still green. And honestly, this is freaking awesome. This thing is really soft. This um, uh, glue that I put on it or coating remains a bit uh, tacky. So it might gather dust, but a lot of speakers have something like this from the factory on them. So I'm not bothered by that at all. What I need to do now, turn this thing around and put a coat also on the back of it. Yes, uh, it will be a bit difficult to do it nice, but who cares on the back, you do not see it. So yeah, the front, in my opinion, is quite okay. So let me do this. And all of them are done, ready to put this coat on. But this one uh, was a little bit more difficult to do. And as you can see, I had a few punctures. Not really sure if just the, the cloth, the material is weaker than uh, on the others or something else. But never mind, I, uh, I still could do it, so that's perfect. So, 
let's get to it and it's finished everything is dried up uh, where are the problem areas there I had a hole now it is okay and it's covered so will not create absolutely any problems and on that that particular speaker I put a, I, I, put, I put a bit more of the sealant on it because it was quite quite bad badly affected worse than any of the others so that is a bit stiffer compared to the rest of them but uh, it's yeah they are working they have base which had none before I did this I will show you a quick test with one of them uh, this particular model doesn't have a big excursion and um, probably now it has less than it had when it was new because for sure also the spider is a bit uh, harder now than it was when it was new but I'm not going to change them uh, they have base so I can use them perfectly but uh, the repair gods had uh, something uh, in mind for me this one isn't working yep so I don't even know if uh, it was working when I actually bought it working because it didn't have any base it was fully stuck but uh, yeah a child in the background uh, anyway it doesn't even have continuity on this side so I need to make a separate video I will remove the dust, uh, dust cap see if I have any bad wiring in there uh, if not I will need to completely open up this this little speaker and that is not going to be funny at all for sure but that will be a separate video these three are finished working beautifully and next for you it will be just a, a quick test and uh, that's about it so thank you very much for watching hopefully this helps you uh, repair your speakers look at this and don't think about this as techy as you will get stuck to it no it's just a little bit uh, it's soft it's soft so I, I really like this thing from simply speakers again let me show you what it is quite nice thing I must buy more yeah that's about it thank you again for watching like subscribe all that good stuff and see you in the next one text uh, test next bye As you could see this thing is working beautifully so thank you again and bye forgot to tell you what my original plan B was I bought these things I think it was three dollars one of them so I bought four of them they were the only speakers with the same size that had a green surround but this surround is quite maybe you can hit it it's quite flimsy quite thin so I think these ones would have broken it and uh, to get it out of here being that thin and really uh, well glued uh, I decided my chances are quite slim to get it uh, in one piece without damages and honestly I don't like to break break stuff uh, because I wanted to get the green one out and put this one in its place so I don't even break these speakers I hate breaking stuff so uh, yeah in the end pff, it's awesome that i managed to revive them and another chance would have been to use a bit of uh, green marker or something to give this thing a, a greenish tint if i needed to put it in here but yeah luckily i never got to plan b and c plan a worked just fine for us so yeah this time really bye